बरं डॉक्टर साहेब आमच्या बाग बाया बाबतीत कसं असं होत आहे बरं मग बाई कशी अशी करीत नाही असं आत्महत्या कशी करीत नाही बाई संजीवनी ताई तुम्ही सांगताय I come from a family of journalists on one side and my on the other side farmers I have known about the issue of farmer suicides uh since last decade perhaps and one of the e- evenings when I was in Brussels I noticed that there is a huge march of farmers uh in india and they are marching in the dark mm-hmm. uh and suddenly from a passive protest it became an active protest mm-hmm. and i felt very pulled in that moment to do something about it because i've known it for a while as my grandfather was also a farmer and uh, my father and grandfather have been a journalist so politically speaking there's a lot of politics that are discussed at home and also because it's so close to my heart i've seen like our beloved orange orchards of my grandfather wilting uh, because there is no the, the the prices are not good enough for them to pick and take it to the markets the market fluctuates so i've seen these things as a child and but it's always been so passive uh and there's a sort of a hopelessness it's become an issue which uh, doesn't seem to have a solution mm-hmm. so when the farmers started marching uh from nasik to mumbai at night mm-hmm. i felt this is and although now it's not in the film but there's that's where the title comes from marching in the dark first it started like an expositive thing it started out of rage it started out of this that oh why there is not enough there is a bit but there is not enough representation of this on screen and what can i do about it because the numbers are quite astounding 400000 in 27 years that which is by government but you, you we all know that how these numbers are counted right mm-hmm. so uh first it started as a drive to kind of get around this issue on film somehow and speak about it and become part of the protest that i just mentioned they were marching what can i do okay i can make a film that but then slowly it became a more personal journey to learn about grief mm-hmm. and dealing with grief and being there for others what the self means uh and what does the other means in a context of grief how how can you be there for someone else mm-hmm. in grief that's what it became and i learned from the protagonist mm-hmm. yeah you don't be under the light upon kai and bit kai cha time ala this is what i mean sir get karana atmahatya kelya aplya talukyat kelya pure rajyat kelya तरी आज सरकारला वठणीवर आणल्याशिवाय आपण राहायचो नाही भाव तुटलेतच ना गेल्या वर्षीची परिस्थिती होती ती यावेळेस परिस्थिती नाही आय वुड जस्ट लाईक टू ऍड हाऊ द स्टोरी इव्हॉल्व अँड द क्रिएटिव्ह प्रोसेस सो द स्टोरी स्टार्टेड इव्हॉल्विंग इन इन आउट ऑफ दिस सेन्स ऑफ ड्युटी फॉर द अदर I didn't know so first it was very expositional slowly it started becoming about as I saw how they were going to the houses of other people to be there mm-hmm. um so it became about grief from there it became about being there for others and then also because we didn't film during corona uh, all that and then how i saw sanjeevni kind of emerging uh her personal journey so I tried to kind of find a way to put all of it together mm-hmm. and uh, now what is the film the last thing i would like to say is um uh, sanjeevni has this quote that 
when you listen to the pain of others your own becomes a uh, little smaller mm-hmm. which uh, i believe helped me to be there it's not a universal truth but it helped me mm-hmm. to be there for my mother when she was going through grief of losing my aunt so i learned to be there for my mother learning from the protagonists how they were there for other people and this was my first experience with grief during the making of this film apantia mate ne kira te sar tumi zara asa gharat padun basun zara hela te lekra ne kon apad bhanche mamun yoda dhat mana kaadish kachi tar dhale ag mai ada kai lagan karaycha kai ke आम्ही बाहेर गेलो तेव्हा माझी लोक नाव होती आता नाव वाटपाचा विषय सोबत होती आता 